Yeah. Hey, look, Brent. Look at me, please. Uh huh. So. <laughs> Let's go, uh, let's go over there do, uh... It's been a while since the last video in the instructor training series from back when I was still working on my instructor license, but I still had a few more of these lessons on the hard drive that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, keep in mind, at this point, these flights are from about 10 months ago and are some of the first I had trying to teach these maneuvers. I've actually changed quite a bit about how I teach and even perform these since I completed my training and started teaching real students. I still think it's beneficial to see these and see the evolution of the transition from student to instructor, and for everyone working on their instructor certificate or with aspirations to become a flight instructor, just keep practicing talking through those maneuvers because it's a whole other challenge being able to have that conversation and teach while also performing in the maneuver in the aircraft. Your mind has to almost be in two places at once. There's the lightness and put it up. Super drive through my golf. Left cross wing one two super drive two. Staying nice and low ground effect there's effective translational lift with that vibrating. We're just gonna keep applying forward pressure on the cyclic to push through that. Really get got birds on the departure end of the runway. Alright, uh, Ian, talk me through low rotor RPM. So, uh, low rotor RPM is something that we might encounter uh, if maybe if we're overloaded, we're real heavy. Uh, we got a high high dense uh, high density environment. Uh, hopefully, you would notice it before that horn comes on. But if you know for some reason you're cat saturated, to add add to that, another one would be a, a student who's tight gripping. Okay. Uh, but uh, if for some reason you don't notice it before 97, that horn's going to pop up and you're like, hey, get your attention, that, you're going to see that light as well. So as soon as you see that horn, you're going to roll on throttle. Sorry to interrupt yep. again. Uh, the, that, the, the, the initial inter, uh, thing that we see is the left yaw and the pitch change in the sound. The horn is usually that thing that tips us off and we're too late. So, okay. you know, talk them through, be like, hey, I'm going to roll throttle down. Do you hear that? Uh, you feel that uh, yaw left, and you hear that change in the rotor sound? That's your indication your RPMs are changing. Okay, then if it gets low enough to 97%, then the horn will come on. But we want to catch it prior to that horn sure. coming on. Go ahead and say that. And when we see that the RPM is coming down like that, what we want to do in this order is we want to roll on throttle, and we want to lower collective and apply aft cycling. Yeah, well, you need to actually roll the throttle down if you're going to do it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and show that for you. So here's the throttle rolling down, and we're going to roll on, lower, aft cycling. Good. Very good. Good. Yeah, just, um, you know, do it a little slower. Say, hey, look. Um, watch what happens when those RPMs go down. Notice our, our nose go left. Uh -huh. How do you hear that sound? How it's changing? It's the pitch is going down. That's a low rotor R RPM situation. Okay, we want to catch it before the horn comes on. Now the horn's on. What our corrective action is, is roll on lower slide up side. Okay, here you want to take the control from me? I have all three. You have all three. So this is the way I would say, you know, okay, hey, I'm going to show you what a low RPM situation is like. Uh, uh, the, the way that you get this is blah, blah, blah. Um, you, you're going to hear that decrease in RPMs and that yaw to the left there. And then the horn's going to come on. That's when we're a little too late. I want you to roll on lower, slide out, slide quick, and get yourself back up to a normal airspeed and start figuring out why that, that low RPM situation happened. Um, yeah, just do a straight in auto for okay. me. You don't need to talk through it, or you can if you want. Just All right, get yeah, to practice. Do it. All right, let's get our airspeed up a bit. Altitudes a little bit low. All right, lights are out. RPMs are good. Car beats up. One, two, three. Gauge on green and fuel one quarter and a half. Carb temp up and out of yellow. A little bit more altitude. A little bit more speed. All right, we got a nice small left crosswind here, and we're going to. Uh, the auto rotation and three, two, one. Lower collective, right foot pedal, roll off throttle, check up RPMs, and watching that RPM gauge, and keeping that, uh, that cyclic in a neutral position. We don't want to be too forward or too aft right now. And as we're getting closer, 40 foot checks, we're going to gently apply a little bit of aft cyclic, a little bit of aft, little cyclic, flare, roll on throttle. 
and then forward on the side plate, level out. Um, just do whatever you want to go backwards, pirouettes, okay. whatever you feel comfortable with, and then okay. uh, let's go back to the uh, hovering area and do a couple uh, hover autos. All right, so we're trying to maintain the center line. So we're, we're constantly applying pressure to the cyclic in the direction that we want to go. So I'm forward on cyclic now. I'm starting to move to a right cyclic. And as we come backwards, half cyclic, watching our altitude. I'm being real light on the foot pedals as we're turning around. Just constant adjustments to keep it keep the turning smooth. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, level out. You're doing a good job there, but let's just go direct to the hover pad. Roger. All right, so hover auto rotation. If we were to have a, a power failure and a hover, uh -huh. what's going to happen is uh, if, the, if the throttle were to cut suddenly, you're going to get a, a yaw to the left. Okay. So what you're going to want to do if is if the throttle were to cut suddenly. I mean, if, if the engine were to suddenly die, like that. Yeah, like that. Uh, I was like, I didn't know that that was going to happen. I thought you were just, uh, I thought you were asking me to do that. To cut the throttle. Okay. You asking me to cut the throttle? Alright, so I'm demonstrating this to you right now. Yeah. Hey, look, Brent. Look at me, please. Uh huh. So <laughs> when I'm demonstrating it, uh, I'm going to be controlling the throttle, okay? Oh, okay. Um, and then once I uh, once I have you uh, demonstrating it, you'll be in control of the throttle. Oh, okay. All, All right. right. So do me a favor. Don't ever cut the throttle like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's scary. But okay. you know, you saw it was okay though, right? Yeah. yeah. I get it, man. You're good. You're real good. So I just want you um, kind of following along with me. Uh, just real gently on the cyclic and just real gently on the throttle just so you can see what I'm doing. So the steps that we're going to do, uh, you can say it in your head, is pedal, pedal, raise. Pedal, so settle, raise. Okay. Pedal, settle, raise. So what we're going to do is, um, and I'll do it here in just a second, but as the throttle goes down, we're going to give a right foot pedal, um, and that's going to counteract for that yaw. We're going to let the aircraft kind of settle, hold the collective where it's at, and then we're going to raise at the last minute to push in the lane. All right. Hover, auto, and three, two, one. Pedal, settle, brakes. Good. It sounds like the important part is to not overthink it in your head. Yeah. Yeah. Pedal, settle, raise. Easy. So the easiest thing to do is just pick a point off in the distance, uh, like, you know, a pole out there, and just focus on that. And okay. that way, when you, uh, when you start to yaw, you'll be able to keep it pointed right at that, right? Okay. All right, looking off in the distance, and hover auto in three, two, one, pedal, settle, raise. Bad. Not bad. Okay, um, I'm a student now. Okay. I'm all right, so you're going to give it a shot? I, I know how to hover, uh, all, all of those things. This is just the first uh, hover auto I've ever done. Okay. Remember, don't overthink it. Okay. So pedal, settle, raise. Yeah. All right, so remember, we're, we're looking for a point off in the distance, one of those poles. Okay. Uh, just be, be pointed right at it. Hover auto in three, two, one. Okay, uh, well, we had a nice, uh, gentle landing. Yeah. You need to just put a little bit more right foot pedal in there, okay? Okay. But uh, we didn't hit very hard. You, uh, you did good on raising the collective. Okay. Uh, but, you know, just remember, focus out on the distance. Okay. Keep me pointed at, at one yeah, direction. Yeah, I feel like I gave a lot of right foot pedal, but I just may, maybe I need to give more. Yeah, just just freaking uh, mash yeah, that thing, right? Push it, push yeah. it in, yeah. Push it real good, just like salt and pepper, you know? Push it real good. All right, remember we're focusing on a pole out there. Just okay. get a pole on here. Pole. Apparato in three, two, one. Ugh. Too much raise, huh? Yeah, you're, you're, you're I mean, a little bit too much, and, and remember, once once we touch the ground, you want to lower that collective, right? Oh, okay. So, you know... Uh, yeah, just like if you were landing. So make sure that, you know, you keep that throttle off, okay? Because... How, how is a student supposed to keep that throttle off? What would be a technique that you are supposed to do in a hover out of that? Uh, you'll reposition your hand. So, reposition your hand. Uh, there you go, like that. So that way, you know, you're, you're, you're far... Out, right? So when yeah. you, when no, you roll in the it POH off, it says roll into D10. 
Roll into D10? Yeah, remember, you're supposed to roll into D10. Okay. So that's how we don't ha allow them to uh, to roll back up. Okay. So they are they are keeping that tension there, and then if they do decide, ah, hey, I want to roll on, it does it goes right to close. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And all right, I'm you have all three. Let's go back and uh, do a little debrief. All right. I'm going to be a student trying to put it back on the helipad. Okay. Do you have controls? I have all three. You First have time. So remember, as we come close to the pad, it's just going to be um, really what you're doing. You're not applying a whole lot of down pressure to the collective. You're bringing me up a little bit higher. About three feet. There you go, right there. So it's kind of like you're just um, letting a little bit of upward pressure off the collective. So it's, it's letting it come down nice and slow, and then it'll, it'll be like a pocket of air on the bottom. There you go. All right, give me a nice over here. Let's, let's remember, we want to be in a nice, stable hover before we lower the collective. All right, Brad. Uh, just remember, nice, all movements. Put your uh, put your wrist on your your leg. Where's there. my eyes been this whole time? Looking looking down. Looking down. Right. right. So right. so look look out in the distance. Look the out in the distance. Okay. There you go. Hey, what do I do? Okay, so you're gonna lower that collective. Okay. Roll off the throttle. 